Welcome to Magic Gathering Strat. This is Bava, and I'm going to play a little modern. And I put together some new modern decks. Um, and they, at the moment, still have the names of the players who won with them in dailies, back when those things existed. And so this is the deck by Atheros23. Um, and I messed with it a bit in terms of the land. Um, I don't have any of the fancy expensive land, but I did fill in um, stuff. I had the goblin guides, and uh, I have one dismember, so I opted not to buy the other dismember. Um, all in all, I filled out uh, three modern decks uh, for about eight bucks, um, based on some cards that I already had. Um, I had some of the standard land already. Um, so I have this, uh, that aggro one. I have this one by Magnetic North, which is a straight up uh, mono red aggro. I am on the laptop, and I have much less screen space than I like. As uh, sort of a straight up uh, red deck wins beatdown. And then this one by Save Your Money. Save Your Money. Um, which is kind of a Knight of the Reliquary uh, land value uh, Naya deck. I guess, really, in the end. And then I have this one by Love Crayons, which I haven't finished putting together yet. You can see all the cards I don't have. But it's an ad nauseum uh, combo deck with lightning storm which as far as i can tell that's just how you win is you get ad nauseum and either have phyrexian on life or angel's grace so you can draw your entire library um, you can use i don't know what you use um, Even have a casting cost. Anyway, you cheat out some mana. Somehow or another, and uh, lightning storm for all your land. Is that how that works? That's more or less seems to be how that works. Um, it looks interesting. Uh, I don't quite understand it. Obviously, if you want to explain it to me in the comments, that would be helpful. Um, but that seems to be it, is ad nauseum plus lightning storm equals win. Yes? Yes. Um, but we'll start at the top and work our way down. So we'll play this, uh, this is basically a gruel aggro deck. Um, it's based heavily on the deck by Atheros23. Um, I did do my own additions, mainly with land um, and mainly because of budget. So let's jump into a match and we'll see what this deck can do Um, I have a few other modern decks that are put together. I don't remember if I ever made any videos um, about them. I have a black-white tokens deck. I know I did some uh, goblins, which is probably my strongest uh, modern deck. And I have, a, uh, I have another red burn deck for modern as well. All right, so we'll say... Good luck to you, sir. We will definitely play first. And that's yeah, pretty good. <clears throat> um, so I guess it's experiment one in the goblin guide. And then hit for four. HL have luck or hi 
look. Um, there are things happening with affinity. Um, so this guy is just a 1-1. One, one. <clears throat> this guy makes everything else tougher. Um, I guess if I live through next turn, I'll be okay. It's kind of a big if, huh? I want to be the beatdown deck. Mox Opal enters the revealed zone. Sweet Jesus. That's pretty damn good. Is he going to blow me out and kill me now with a bunch of stuff? Let's see, Blink Moth Nexus is like Ink Moth Nexus without effect. You can also give a Blink Moth creature plus one, plus one. It's pretty interesting. <clears throat> Each other attacking creature. Mm hmm. You smack me for f four. <clears throat> I assume there's still mirror enforcers in modern affinity. I'm not sure what the lists look like. Um, I play mostly popper affinity, so I'm used to a bunch of four fours in my life. Um, so obviously Arcbound Ravager is the big deal. Hill. Yeah, vexing devil. Okay. Um. Pen Ravager is kind of tough, huh? There's an Ink Moth Nexus.
make him sacrifice something else? Or just get a Vexing Devil? Oh, of course, I should have gotten the Vexing Devil first. That would have given him the ability to regenerate. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, this is the one that'll put him up to 3-3. Three, three. So this is the one I actually want to respond to. My singleton dismember will show up and uh, finish the deal for me. Wow. I think he misplayed this quite a bit, actually. Oh, he can make that Ink Moth Nexus really big. Alright. Well, now he can't. He's still gonna die. Oh no. It goes up to a 6-6. Six, six. Ah, for the love of one more red mana. Um, well, that'll do it, won't we? All right. That is a big arc-bound Ravager. Another Arcbound Ravager. Hmm. Man, alright. That guy's hard to play around. I want a mountain. <clears throat> Double vexing devil's kind of fun, huh? Why not? That one gets to live. <laughs> Galvanic Blast, that's no good. We've got no red mana. You can always just make your 6-6 six, six, a 7-7, seven, seven, I suppose. You can take 2. Uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Bummer Void. Oh. Man, that's really good, too. Wow. 
well. <clears throat> Affinity's got some good, uh, good mana production. The Mox Opal and the Glimmer Void, those are pretty sweet. All right, so things are looking bad. That guy flies. There's no point in blocking that guy. We're down to seven. It's got Galvanic Blast. <clears throat> He's going to do seven to me anyway, right? Alright, so we need to leave Lightning Bolt open, which means we can get Flint Hoof Bore, but we can't give him haste. Another Glimmer Void. Oh, there's that too. Yeah. I gotta get some blockers. I gotta get both blockers. Because <clears throat> one's gonna get Galvanic blasted. Hopefully the other one can live to block. Um, and I'm all tapped out. Now would be an excellent time to not be tapped out. I totally didn't even think about that. Huh. Alright. Man. Arcbound Ravager is hard to deal with. Okay. Stomping ground. Moving good. <laughs> <clears throat> I thought I had Ancient Grudge in here since this is a red green deck. I do have Ancient Grudge in here. All the Ancient Grudges come in. Um, uh, Arc. Alright, 
So exiling Arcbound Ravager is good. Destroying land's not good. Pillar of Flames seem good. If I can exile that guy, all the better. Grim Lava Mancer doesn't seem great. Um, Dismember seems good. <clears throat> Being able to see my damn cards on the small screen seems good. Two threes. I take out a couple. What is a sorcery? Lions, Goblin Guide, Goblin Guide. Um, We'll try it like that. I'm not sure. I know the ancient grudges are hopefully going to do some work. Um, hopefully the pillar of flame will help too. Yeah, evolving wilds and a mountain. It's fine. Etched Champion. Protection from all colors as long as you control three or more artifacts. That's pretty scary. Going in for the damage. There's an Ink Moth Nexus. <clears throat> See if we can be aggressive enough. 13, I've got 6 damage in hand. Nine, 14. There's that guy. More land for you. It's 
value town. No chump blocking for you. See if we can just be aggressive, go right over here. There's an etch champion. Okay, let's get another lightning bolt. Let me take one lightning bolt out. So I can get the curd ape and the flint hoof boar. We just need to get three damage in and then finish them off with lightning bolts. Guy's yeah, got blockers for days. I'm gonna steal overs here. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if we can do it. Whip flare. Two damage to each non artifact creature. Hope they can trample over for one and hit him with one of these two guys. Hmm. Okay, affinity. Okay, that's one damage. That's zero damage. That's zero damage. That's zero damage. I'm only doing one damage to him. At best.
got to be able to ruin his day somehow, right? With two lightning bolts in hand. And you just put them all on the edge champion. Hmm. <clears throat> Alright, do I now try and blow up that particular Arcbound Ravenger? Can't blow up that guy. I'd really like to get him to kill this. I have four pillars of flame. Alright, I think we just hope for any sort of direct damage. Such a hard decision whether I bolt him to the face or try and do something about his creatures. Um, <clears throat> yeah, there goes my goblin guide. being pretty defensive. <clears throat> Which is fine. Not attacking. <clears throat> okay, well I took two lands out of my deck right there. Better chance of getting something. Obviously taking a lightning bolt out was the wrong idea. I probably should have taken the dismember out. <clears throat> he forgot to steal Overseer. So, silly mistake on his part. Still a hard matchup for me. I realized he forgot to steal over here. Oh well.
just need some sort of damage. Just need some sort of damage. Really, he'd rather hit me with Blink Moth than Ink Moth. Oh no, wait, shit. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, infect. Uh, Ink Moth's a turn two kill. God, Arcbound Ravager is broken. That guy's crazy. I think he can get me nine infect. Don't think he can kill me. Oh no, he can kill me. Uh, yep. Because of the seal over here. So it's going to be two. Yep. <clears throat> oh, and that. All right, well, I'm going to make him do it. Pretty impressive. Ten ten infect. Shows what I know. <clears throat> and of course he's flying. And oh not good enough. Nope. There it is. Third card down. <clears throat> Alright. Well, didn't quite do what we wanted it to. Let's play one more round against rats uh, with the Gruul deck. <clears throat> All right, we got close. Uh, this is a pretty good start. We'll keep. Rootbound Crag does not fulfill the forest longing of the Curd Ape. Wow. <clears throat> but I still think we should get the Curd Ape. Yeah, we're not blocking. Alright, so I think next turn we'd probably just get Burning Tree Emissary into Flint Hoof Boar. <clears throat> Dark Confidant. Yeah, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fourteen. Getting very close. We just did two. Probably the 
Grim Lava Mancer is going to go. Ah. Oh. oh. Lose some life. Maybe he'll die before I do. Seven year. Grim Lava Mancer. A little too slow. Probably gonna die. I think seven. Pretty good. Double vexing devil. gets unearthed, huh? <clears throat> and we lose a vexing devil. But I'm gonna do it anyway. So the Vexing Devil is going to leave, obviously. He's going to... Take one damage. He's gonna have to tragic slip his own dark confidant, right? I feel like activating his tragic slip for him. Vexing Devil's leaving. <clears throat> Alright, well. I'm just gonna see if he can kill himself with his own dark confidants. Pretty good about that. Except I have lethal.
got in against the confidants and everything. Vendetta, rats, dark confidants. Pillar of flame. Hmm. Ah, everything's too big. Too big. <clears throat> Finds a fast wood might be good. Curd ape. It's been somewhat lameified in this particular deck. I'm gonna take out the dismember for the pillars and we'll say go. The little budget modern deck that can Wants to beat up on some rats. Let's go, Gruel Agro. <clears throat> Dan would be proud. Of course, we'll see how his sideboard tech looks against us, because our sideboard tech is kind of lame against him. No, I'd rather not have stuff come back from the, the graveyard to haunt me. Let's see why people concede when the, uh, the winning lightning bolt's pointed towards their face. You might as well just get hit, right? Have it, I suppose. Okay, rats. Are you there? Let's go. All right, well, I guess he disconnected, uh, which is kind of lame, but we would have not drawn anything. All right, well, that's it, I think, for this deck for tonight. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe, uh, thumbs up, or like the video, and leave comments. Let me know what you think of this modern deck, um, and if uh, you want to watch any of the other modern decks I have, particularly. I'll go through those again. Um, so this is the one that we played, which was uh, designed by Etheros23, or at least that's who played it, um, and who I stole it from with some modifications, mainly inland. Uh, Magnetic North has this uh, straight up red deck wins uh, burn aggro deck. I also have this other modern burn deck, which is uh, red splashing black. Um, and it's more, more of a straight up burn deck. Um, I have this black white tokens deck with my Sorens and Midnight Haunting and Lingering Souls and some other cool stuff. Um, I have Goblins, which I have made videos for on the channel before. I feel like this is a very strong deck. And I have uh, this Naya deck with Loam Lions and Knight of the Reliquary and Step Links. And those are my modern decks so far. I want to put together this deck by Love Crayons, but uh, it's a bit out of my budget with the uh, Pact of Negations and um, Slaughter Pact and Lotus Bloom. And obviously, I um, have to figure out how to replace some of these land without ruining the deck too much. Um, but I have, you know, 
I have the spell cards, I got these ones, I got these ones, I got the ad nauseums, the mystical teachings, and this stuff in the sideboard. Um, but um, that doesn't count for these other things here. So if you want to see any of these decks um, in modern, let me know that in the comments too. Uh, thanks for watching, I'm Bava, and I was playing uh, Gruul Modern in the practice room. I'll catch you guys later.